we decide when to pair up and with whom is a riddle that evolutionary psychologist Douglas Kenrick has tried to solve for decades. If we all just went for good genes, everyone would be unhappy if the guys didn't end up, you know, with Jennifer Lopez uh, or some other fashion model. They would just stop then, and the women would stop if they couldn't get Brad Pitt or some extremely handsome guy. In real life, people have to match up with one another. How does this matching up process work? To find out, Dr. Kenrick gathered 10 men and 10 women from a fairly average range of physical attractiveness and prepared to perform a few experiments in human social dynamics. First, he stripped away as many differences as possible between the guinea pigs by dressing them in identical and sexually neutral outfits. Okay, now you're gonna play a sort of a, a mating game. You all have a number, as you can see. You can't see your own number, but you can see the other people's numbers. Offer your hands to someone, and if they accept it, then you've paired up and you walk back to the back. Uh, if, the, if the person does not accept your offer, then you'd move on and offer it to someone else. Again, the, the task being to try to get the highest number that you can and realizing that you have a number on your own head that they are responding to as well. The numbers drawn at random are meant to represent desirability, one being least and 10 being most. In the real world, where most of us don't know exactly how attractive we are, we tend to aim high, trying to snare a 10. Then, gradually, we work our way down to someone who will accept us. Some of the people are trying and not getting paired. Uh, the two people who are fives have paired up with one another. It wasn't like the tens perfectly matched and the ones perfectly matched, but you did get a correlation. The people with the high numbers were able to hold back a little bit longer, and they got more offers. The people with the low numbers didn't get any offers. And that's sort of what happens in a real mating pool.